Hey guys, good morning from Melbourne. Yes, I've taken a bit of an impulsive trip to Melbourne. So I am here over the weekend. I had a few days off. So yes, we actually took a road trip and drove down all yesterday, which I do not recommend um, doing unless you're leaving very early in the morning. But anyway, I'm gonna do a couple of things, just chillax. But today we're gonna have a little shopping day. So we're gonna head into the city, or like not far from the city, but since we drove, we didn't stay right in the middle of the city, but I think it's like a 15 minute walk in. So we're gonna go and check out all our favorite stores, maybe check out some watches as well um, while we're here. But anyway, let's get going and see what's there in Melbourne. Before I head out, I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing, outfit of the day. It's a bit echoey here, cause it's all tight. I'm just wearing a skivvy neck from Hermes that I picked up I think a couple of seasons ago last year I actually vlogged that day and showed you this top already you can't really see the details but it's a really nice top and then I've got my age leather skirt it's an Australian brand and I've got this and a black one as well and it is a really staple leather skirt it's just classic and I wear it all the time I've had this for a few winters in a row already and then I've just got my black tights and Kelly boots because it's so cold here. And then the curated wool coat. I get a lot of questions about where this coat is from on my Instagram. So I'll leave a link to this coat below. And my trusty mini Kelly. There we are. So basically the whole look is just black and tan. Also, I always take my Hermes little leather tray whenever I'm traveling to keep all my rings and everyday jewelry in. So I keep everything in the one spot. You can unbutton the sides and it becomes a flat leather piece. So it's really easy to take around. Let me just wear them and we are definitely heading out now. First stop is Chanel. I haven't been in Chanel in so long, so I'm excited to see what's going on. I think we are up to the 22 Metier Dart collection. Having a look to see what's on the window display. We've got a 19 bag, looks like quite a large one, and then we've got a Deville tote. And we also have some cute vanity style bags. Chanel store is actually quite pretty. It's in the white building those arch windows kind of reminds me of the Rue Cambon store. Anyway, let's head in and have a look at what they've got. Two bag is massive. It's as big as my skirt. Almost half of that. Yeah. It's kind of. Um. Yes. The lights. A pouch as well. It comes with a pouch. Oh yes. It comes with the pouch, which is nice. And it's called the Hinza. Is it leather? No, this is like fabric. It's fabric. I am looking at some fun coloured tweed mini flex. As for Chanel classic flat bags with the crazy prices, the minis are probably the only ones I would consider now to be very honest. I actually really love this pink tweed mini. It would be so cute with a summer dress. Then I came upstairs to look at more bags and some accessories. Found a cashmere scarf that caught my eye. This scarf feels so plush and the color is just perfection. Mm -hmm. 
and it is reversible. The other side is in the soft cream color and I love both sides. Such a versatile piece. So you basically get two scarves in one. Let's go with the coat. Mm -hmm. It feels so nice. Also trying on the Coco Crush Ring. I want to get like a thick one to stack with my thin one. Yes, you have chunky thick fine. one. <laughs> yes. so chunky, this one. I think Can I this one you cannot. I think that's for your finger. Yeah. If you want to try. Mm, wow. It's for two. Even for you, it's two. It's the one with all the diamonds. Nice. That's good. In one with the diamonds. Also tried the Coco Crush small hoop earrings. Okay, so just came out of Chanel. Really love some of the accessories I tried. The scarf was really nice. It was reversible, so you can actually get two different looks with it. Um, also really love the Coco Crush earrings, but it was a clip style with um, a post going in your ear hole. And on the right hand side, it was just pinching me because um, my ear on the right is a little thicker than the left ear. So I don't think there's much you can do about that. So I don't think it's a good pair for me. I had a look at some bags as well, but Chanel bags, haven't really been seen to me lately they're just really really expensive and um yeah so not really interested in their bags but i still really love some of their accessories and jewelry so i'm gonna have a think about them but now we're gonna go over and have a look at some watches seen these in person anywhere so long. Louis Vuitton, how beautiful is this store as well? While we're waiting, there is a tiny little sandbag on display. And he's a dolphin in the epi leather black, very classy, very neat and clean lines. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distraction This wall is full of bags from the most recent Stardust collection Which I wanted to check out in person 
checking out the On The Go PM in the light pink and yellow colorway. It is a really pretty summer bag and I actually quite liked it. It literally looks like fairy floss, but for me personally, I wouldn't spend 5,100 Australian dollars on a bag that is probably very seasonal and that I probably will get tired of after a few wears. And this size is so much more manageable in the On The Go. Because when I first saw the On The Go, I just thought they were just And like your petite as yeah. well. Yeah. Look, unless you're going to use it as like a work bag, yeah. it's not practical to take mm. around with you. If you want something that's good to have as like a travel bag to hold, to take a few things with you, yes. my biggest thing is can I fit a small water bottle in it? Because you can keep your hands up. Yes. Yep, awesome. Will it fit my passports in it? Mm. Yep, cool. Yeah. Will it fit a phone in it? And then there's room for just a little extras if we need it, mm -hmm. which this size will definitely do. That's all you need. Because if you spill something and it's suede, it's stuffed, whereas yes. microfiber, it's so good. We've made it sort of You can actually just wipe it. You can clean it, yeah, you can just mm. clean it off. That's why we've made it because look, people have accidents and other people make accidents. So yes. we're understanding of that. Even if you're careful, someone else is going to spill something at exactly. some point. Exactly. This is the on the go from the Stardust collection. I actually didn't think I was a big fan, but I like it in the on the go because it's such a summery bag. It's actually small enough to cross body, which is nice. Then looking at the twist top handle in the rose gold, it was really pretty, especially with the rose gold hardware, which is not common with LV bags. It's just an Instagrammable it is bag, a but it's probably not going to be big enough <laughs> yeah, for I'm like just a thinking travel bag. Practicality. Ooh, is that a mirror? Yeah, all of our twist bags come with a mirror. Oh. Uh -huh. Because it's important that you have a mirror. Yeah. Go, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You gotta, gotta read your lippy. You just gotta make sure that, you know, just you, just you can't buy a mirror on your yeah, own. You can't speak the best. <laughs> we think in advance here. I love the hardware's rose gold. It's yeah. really beautiful. You can take it off as well. So if you don't want it on, you can completely remove it. You can use this as like an extra accessory on the bag anyway. Yeah. So you could do this and then pop your key on the bottom and then slide it in there oh. as well as an option too. Then you can also make this shorter for over shoulder. Oh, it's like the Noe mm -hmm. mechanism. Yes, yes. I have an old Neo Noe bag oh, that. Yeah. I don't know, now I feel like it's so bulky, but back then, well, back then that when size you was like, okay. Yeah, perfect. We keep going smaller in bags anyway. That's so what I mean. Yeah. Now that bag looks messy. This mirror is very slimming. Hey, that's not a bad thing. It's, like good. it's nice. Never say no to a slimming mirror. Hello. No. <laughs> when you're walking, you can put it across the body. Can my phone be beautiful, like linen, flowy dress? Linen. Yeah. <laughs> always. Do you think that summer destination vacation is always linen? Yes. And then not cotton because it's going to be warm. And this is it as a top handle bag for more dressy occasions. Trying this for Santorini. Nice Breton situation. Yeah. Full winter, mm. but it's like see through. <laughs> yeah. It's um, one of the last collections of Virgil's as well. Oh, yeah. okay. So if you want a collector's piece, this is a nice one to have. Yeah, I feel like sometimes like men's collections, like, uh, you know, mm. like you find some gems. Oh, for yeah. sure. Especially because of Virgil's innovation and yeah. things like that. We still don't know who's taking so over the new mm. <laughs> It's just so unique. This pretty wall. Then we headed upstairs to see some shoes ready to wear, and there were more bags, of course. across this really cute and classic swimmers. I did try this on and they were surprisingly comfortable. I still love this caramel croissant bag. 
this written on the go will be a really cute summer bag too. I'm just gonna try on some ready to wear for the summer holiday. I thought this linen-y white monogram shirt dress might be cute as a sundress. I do have the shirt version of this which I love, so I knew I would love the material but the fit of this dress didn't do too much for me. This is basically the same dress but in blue cotton. This dress looked slightly better on but it just looked a little too preppy. Then my lovely SA found me this really cute Breton bucket bag. It would just be amazing for Santorini. I did really love her, so I tried it for a good while, but didn't expect the price point to be so high. It was almost 4,000 Australian dollars, which is a lot for a Breton bucket bag that I am only probably gonna use in the summer on a holiday. So I did the responsible thing and left it. So I did end up picking up something from Louis Vuitton which I will share with you soon as I think it was quite a worthwhile purchase for what you can use it for. But this was the end of our shopping for the day. We ended the night by having a late dinner at a Korean restaurant in the city as we were craving something warm and spicy. Anyway, thank you so much for coming along with me and Melbourne Shopping Vlog Part 2 is coming next week. So please stay tuned. Petite, mini, small. It looks so small on you. <laughs>